Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Cancer. How are you doing everybody? Thanks for dropping in. I'm not going to put the three overall energy cards out this week. I'm just going to save the oracle cards for the outcome energy. So Cancer, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Cancer viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Cancer regarding your love life, finances and career. Clarity for Cancer, please. Some clarity for Cancer. What do they need to know? Does Cancer need to know? There we go. Hmm. Someone's lonely, missing you, feeling left out in the cold. Two of Wands. Somebody wants to approach you. They kind of feel like there's no hope here. They're at this crossroads. I feel like this is a lonely person. So someone is at that crossroads. They want to approach you. They're kind of feeling left out, feeling lonely. Yeah, you've got this Ten of Pentacles, something to do with stability. So someone at that crossroads, I feel in their life, they're about to make a choice about how to approach you, um, to make you feel safe, secure, stable. Maybe they want to approach you and find out if you're in any kind of commitment. Maybe you want to watch this, this little bit of lack energy. Maybe this is somebody who there's something about this too, this choice, this crossroads here. Has somebody without money, somebody with money. Let's just see where that goes. I have a inkling where this is headed. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Hmm. Nine of Cups, very nice energy. And Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. Oh yeah, someone's looking for some emotional fulfillment. <laughs> you I, I feel like you know you're I feel like you have someone here they're a little careful what they wish for okay there's no doubt about it with this person because of the knight of swords it's it's somebody who's becoming more decisive they're coming towards you now this could be someone you've walked away from because you didn't feel that they were stable reliable or there was any security with this person it could be you know they're just someone who you didn't feel had their back you couldn't rely on them maybe it's because they came towards you with lack acting like they didn't have any money or you know i feel there's something here about this person's approach Maybe they want, they're going to approach you and pretend they don't have anything when they do. <laughs> or they want to approach you and find out how financially stable you are. Be a little cautious. I do feel this person's becoming a little bit more decisive. They're heading towards you. So I feel this is someone that you likely walked away from. But this is moving towards that emotional fulfillment. Interesting enough. Cancer. Clarity for Cancer regarding your love life. Finance and career. Yeah, six of wands. Cancer. Someone wants to come out. Seven of swords. Yeah, someone's trying to figure something out here. Seven of swords. Pardon me. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Five of swords is coming out. Yeah, there's someone here who's trying to figure something out. They have some trust issues. This is somebody who wants to win at all cost. Okay, very much focused, very much up in their head. Could be someone who works with facts and figures too. I feel there's some trust issues here. Okay, I, I think this person has trust issues or you have trust issues with this person. Because this is somebody who wants to win even if they have to cheat. <laughs> so a little caution there. Okay. Yeah, I just don't know cancer we'll see where it's going i feel there's some underlying issue here but we'll figure this out tell me about this five of pentacles why is this here yeah a little indecision yeah you've got there's someone here who was indecisive maybe they wanted to approach you they're trying to figure out how to approach you about something this is someone who i mean this could be you feeling indecisive not so, so sure you see a way forward with someone maybe because they're not financially stable can't see a way forward it could be yourself could be them gemini libra aquarius energy tell me about the two of wands why is this here clarity on the two of wands what is this i think this yeah there's something evolving here some kind of change this is that world there you know that's the two of wands you'll see it in a lot of decks 
Um, two wands there with somebody holding that world out, you see. there. I think you've got someone here who's trying to figure out how to approach you about something. It has to do with something financial, financial stability, safety, security, whether you're married or in a commitment or anything like that. There's something here that's lacking, and I feel they feel like there's no hope. They're up in their head. There's something they're not seeing. Okay, but be careful yourself here if you're feeling that it's yourself, okay? Take off those uh, blinders. <laughs> Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's definitely a painful ending. Something ended here. It's over, whatever it is. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's an ending to something. It's finished, whatever it is. Someone didn't make you feel safe and secure. Maybe you ended it. You couldn't see a way forward. Maybe they were lacking. You didn't feel safe with them. It could be financial stability as well. Kind of looks that way. Tell me about the nine of chalices. Why is this here? Yeah, some trust issues. A lack of balance. Yeah, there's definitely some trust issues. You're being careful what you wish for here. Someone's coming in to offer you a cup, but I feel they're keeping everything. They're, they're keeping something to themselves. And I'm going to tell you, I think you got someone here who's a little bit dishonest. Okay, I got to be honest. I feel they are going to be a little bit manipulative manipulative you may instinctively know that this person isn't you don't trust them okay i would be cautious when i see this because this is somebody who was indecisive maybe they felt you didn't have any money you weren't financially stable maybe they ended it somebody ended it one of you walked away um, and i feel as though this person is coming back around they've kind of changed something has changed they changed their mind maybe they're going to change their approach or they need to approach you about something. And I, I kind of feel, I'm going to tell you, I almost feel like this person felt like you didn't have any money. Or they weren't sure. Maybe they didn't feel safe and secure, but it could be you. Tell me about this. Yeah, some people worry about that too much. I'm seeing a lot of that lately. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is that here? The Knight of Swords for Cancer. Yeah, so there's definitely something to do with the past. Someone's becoming more decisive, though. You see that indecision up there, that two of swords? It has to do with trust issues. This is about taking things you learned, leaving the things uh, that don't resonate behind, taking that newfound knowledge, the clarity, and moving forward. But there is something to do with emotional balance here. I think what you have is someone who kind of selfish, Maybe you don't trust them because of for some reason. No, but there is something to do with this past energy or this missing you, this reminiscing. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. We'll see once I get this card out. I don't want to jump the gun. Tell me about Eight of Cups energy. Why is this here? Clarity on the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's an ending. So yeah, it looks like there was some kind of an ending. Uh, but there's this transformative energy. Something is transforming. So I feel like this person's coming back around. They're moving back towards you. Now, this is somebody, I do think this is someone who gets a lot of attention, maybe because they have money. Be careful they're not just coming in for attention if you have trust issues with this person. Stay, keep your emotions balanced here, Cancer. Now, this could be someone who's missing you or reminiscing about the past. Someone who maybe was indecisive but becoming more decisive because they're missing you. There's a little melancholy. And I feel this person is definitely hoping to have some kind of success or trying to figure something out. I would be careful about this. I think this person, either you figured this person out that they were manipulating you or they know that you know something. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> And that maybe they manipulated you. Maybe they told you, you they were broke when they weren't because they get people chasing them for money because they're financially successful. They also have a bit of an ego. They might even be downright arrogant or acted that way. But I don't think you trust them. And, and it's I think it's because you figured this person out. They were manipulating you. I think they know that you know. I don't know why, but that's what I feel. It's because I'm seeing this twice. I think you know this person, yeah. You, there is this lack of trust here because of it. They offered one cup, nothing more. They kept their feelings to themselves, kept everything to themselves. I feel they weren't sharing anything. They weren't, uh, they were keep being, you know, this is somebody who wants to be indulged. 
You know, they want you to indulge them. They want to keep everything they have that's theirs, anything they, you know, everything to themselves, and they don't want to give you anything. I feel like you were very sweet to this person. Maybe you rushed in, rushed forward to this person, maybe before you really seen what was going on. You had the blindfolders on maybe a little bit. It's telling you to take them off. Okay. Yeah, there's a cycle ending and a new cycle being. This is somebody who wants what they want. They like to have things go in their favor. Okay, but I feel like what happens is it didn't go that way. It was a false victory because they came towards you with a bad energy. They came towards you the wrong way. I actually feel like, I don't feel like it was a horrible manipulation. What I feel is, is I think this person had money. And I don't think they told you or they didn't think you had any. I actually feel they do have money or they're quite financially stable. There's something they were keeping from you. And it has to do with this indecision, okay? I, this is crazy. Yeah, look at this energy. This is somebody who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. See, you've got a bit of a playgirl, playboy type, somebody who's very controlling. They want things to go in their favor. There's somebody with a great big ego. Uh, but they are definitely, yeah, they know you don't trust them, okay? They know that you know that they manipulated you somehow, okay? This is somebody who likes to have things their way. They're trying to figure out something here, and I think you are figuring them out. And I think there's more to it than, if they're like a player, I don't, I'm not seeing them being actual player. I feel like they're somebody who works very hard. They're definitely somebody very creative, very hardworking, probably very hands-on. So somebody, once they know what they want, they go after it and they aim to win. Now, it doesn't have to be all negative. This is be just somebody who's trying to figure out how to come in and take control of this situation. But they, they're not so sure they trust this or you don't. But yeah, see, they want to talk. They want to communicate. They could be at a bit of a distance. There could be travel or something involved here. But this is what, see, they're taking something that they're learning here and they're bringing that with them. This is somebody who's going to tell you they want to get to know you. Uh, I feel they're very passionate, very charming, maybe very sexy, very charismatic. This is somebody, they're very proud, whoever they are. They're definitely proud of their achievements, okay? Um, could be just that. See a Leo energy. Yeah, this person's very strong, very confident. Or they're going to come towards you that way. Like there's something here about this person. Hmm. Nine of Cups. This is someone who wears a false mask sometimes too. That's why you got to be careful what you wish for. I wonder what they're hiding. I think it's to do with money. I feel like they act like they don't have any money or uh, there's this lack. Yeah. See, look at that energy. Yeah. You're, I think you focused on this person here. And I feel like as what you've done is you've changed your focus. You're focusing on yourself, focusing on them less. But I think you figured something out here, Cancer. Because you, I, I do. I really do. I feel like you've figured out this person. Now, whether it's they ended things with you because they felt you weren't financially stable, or you ended things with them and maybe for that reason. But I feel there's more to it, okay? especially on your end for some reason because there's something you were focused on here interesting energy maybe at first you had the blindfold on you were more focused on them than they were on you i don't know but i feel there's this energy of the blindfold taking the rose colored glasses off but they're definitely headed your way yeah there's something about stability you see look at this energy I, I feel as though this person's gaining the strength and the confidence here to come towards you. I think they're, they act strong, they act confident, they act brave, but I think they were lacking that. I think there was a lack of that in the past for some reason. And I don't know whether it's, it feels like money issues or something to do with stability, okay? It could be emotional stability, uh, but it looks like money issues to me. So I feel as though there's some trust issues when it comes to their money, their legacy, their... Um, you know, this is, you want somebody you can trust, you can rely on, and I'm not so sure you do. So, but I think they're headed your way. I don't know what it is. They're going to try to figure out how to fix this situation with you. Yeah, this is about investing. Yeah, maybe, maybe this person thought you were invested in them because they were, had 
um, financial stability. Maybe you didn't want to invest in them because of that. They weren't. It could go in either direction. You know yourself. I feel as though you were kind of maybe seeing this person for a bit and you were waiting for them to at least commit to offer you, you know, a solid foundation of some kind here. Something solid, something you can rely on. And I feel you were being very patient. But I feel there's something to do with this person's and something about their investments, uh, their money, maybe their house, their home, their bank account. It's a legacy. Yes. Wow. Tell me about this transformation. You walked away maybe from this person. This person is probably someone who's kind of used to getting chased for money. All right, because they're successful, but you ended it and you went off in your own direction. And this is somebody I feel they were they lost control because they were trying to control things. And this is what I feel they were trying to keep something to themselves here. Oh no, tell me about this transformative energy here. Why is this here? Transformation. There we go. Oh, going off on a new path. Yeah, see, this person, I wonder if this person maybe thought you weren't compatible. Maybe you weren't a team player. Maybe they weren't. Take it as it resonates to you. Because there's an ending to something here. But this transform, this is going off on a new path, putting an end to this situation and moving forward. I actually feel this person is going to lose the ego. I do feel they are very proud of their achievements, their accomplishments. I feel they do actually have a lot to be proud of. I feel is what it was is they needed to gain more strength and confidence as towards investing in your in you in something stable in a commitment, but I don't think you trust this person and I think they're very well aware they may have manipulated you to do with money. I think this person came towards you with lack, acting like they were poor, they didn't have any money when they actually had a lot. I do think this came to an end for whatever reason, but I don't know if money was an issue for you so much as. Because there's definitely something to do with emotion here. There's, you know, there's definitely something to do with emotion uh, towards this person's feelings. They're reminiscing here. This is that indecisive rushing in before they were clear, having to rush back out again. So it's telling you not to rush into this. Maybe you did in the past and you were very sweet. You were showing this person you had feelings. But there's something, um, maybe they felt you were manipulating them. But I feel like whatever, I, you know what I feel? Crazy miscommunications. I think you were reading, possibly reading each other wrong, but I do think you figured something out over a period of time with this person. <laughs> yeah, they didn't trust you because they have money and they weren't sure if you were invested in them for the right reasons, but it could go both ways. Yeah, see, look what came out. That's the truth, the epiphany. So you may have had an epiphany or they have knowing that you figured them out. Okay, but they're coming in to speak a truth. Oh, look at this energy. Yeah, you want that emotional fulfillment. Um, this is going to be a rather emotional situation. So you're going to have to make a decision to walk away, okay, from this person again, I feel. But there is this healing, releasing negative thoughts and negative energy, leaving all that negative baggage, all that, uh, it's drama, everything, leaving it in the past to heal a situation. You're loving yourself first. You've definitely gone through a transformation yourself, Cancer, because there you are. Yeah, you're very good at going within and healing yourself, uh, you know, turning your back on all that drama, all those un unfulfilled emotions, right? Healing, releasing, and letting it go. Uh, loving yourself first. You are the empress. I think this person's headed back towards you to speak a truth. But I do think you found out the truth about this person. I think it probably hurt a little bit. Um, but yeah, I do think they kind of manipulated acting like they had nothing when they actually did and i it, it's it's a really weird bizarre energy and i can sure anybody who went through this would find it bizarre especially if you're not chasing them for money uh, i feel like you were emotionally invested in this person uh, but i i feel as though they were not emotionally invested in you for whatever reason i think it's trust issues there's something to do with emotional balance offering one cup they weren't offering any balance uh, keeping everything to themselves Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is this here for Cancer? Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is this here, Cancer? Whoops. Yeah, see? So I, I feel now yeah, there's definitely a... I think this person feels they missed an opportunity. 
they were they were in, maybe they were just indecisive before so they just they weren't sure where this was going to go if you're compatible so they thought they just kind of I think they manipulated and pretended they had nothing, that they were going to like pour and down and out. And I do think you focused on that energy a bit and you figured it out. I do. And I think you changed your focus with them too. And that's where you didn't chase this person. See, they're used to being chased. You didn't chase them. If, that's, if this is your story and it's getting, you know what, don't chase them. Make them come towards you. This person's got an ego. There's no doubt about it. But they hide behind that. The ego is something they hide behind. They actually lack the strength and the confidence in the past. And I do feel they're trying to gain that strength and confidence to come towards you, to talk, to communicate, to make peace. They're learning something here and they want to share that with you. Okay. And I feel this person wants to take the time to get to know you. I, I do. I feel like they've gone through some kind of transformation. It's like they've changed how they feel about you. It's like they turn, they look at those feelings and emotions. I think this person let you walk away and they actually kind of regret this. I do. I feel they missed an opportunity because they, they weren't 100% sure in their communication or there was a lack of some kind of clarity. But, you know, I think they're coming in to chase after you. <laughs> I don't know if you want reciprocity, you want that love. I feel as though there's a need to heal a situation. Like you want this person to value, to see your worth. So I do feel if they come towards you, and I feel they will. It's telling you to be just a little patient, a little longer if you want to hear from them. To just take time to heal, okay, to let go. Turn your back on all that negative thoughts unresolved emotional issues let them go clear it heal it let it go uh, i feel like you've got this love because that's the empress is love so there is you're definitely open i think to the possibilities of healing this with this person you're very loving and very nurturing they see you that way they see you as very kind and nurturing and very loving i don't think this person has any bad feelings about you okay i think this person there's been miscommunications or some kind of I feel like they're very much in mental conflict at times this person okay to do with this energy this painful ending to do with this ten of pentacles a lack of safety security stability you couldn't rely on this person because you felt they was you know just that indecision and there was they came towards you with lack but I feel they're coming back around this person's something is evolving here with this person this change at this crossroads so I feel as though you just kind of started focusing on something else, tried to change your focus and move on uh, to just let this go. And that's what cancer does. <laughs> You're very good at that. Hey, it's a talent, you know, to go within and heal and to be able to go offer that cup again. But it's telling you to be a little bit cautious. Okay, make sure that you've healed. You released all this negative energy. Just let it go. Take a little bit of a break and come back as that... <laughs> beautiful empress that you are tell me about the world let's see where this what happened up here with this change why is the world here for cancer there we go yeah so this person's coming around to offer you something they want to put an end to whatever this happened it with this i feel like this was painful for this person too and i do feel they've gone through a lot of mental conflict i do think they have trust issues so they keep everything to themselves um, but yeah, they missed an opportunity because of it. In fact, you may have even reached out to this person at some point and they rejected you. I do feel if they come in, you're not going to be 100% sure with this person, okay? Yeah. Just, I think you're just going to be a little bit careful. I do think you have people coming towards you and they come in with lack. It's just not good enough. You may have several people here as well. Um... somebody from the past from a long time ago that reaches out i don't think you're interested in them Let's just feel that see that energy just a little bit yeah i think this person rushed in rushed out they weren't clear they didn't communicate clear definitely there was some kind of communication issue yeah soulmate energy see uh, there's a connection there's a, a a mental connection that there needs to be more emotional connection you see you may have offered this person that cup of love and they reject it. Now they regret it. Definitely. Yeah. 
they missed an opportunity. I, you know, I was just going to say this, <laughs> the wheel of fortune, the cycle is ending. This person wants things to go in their favor. So they're coming in, they're planning something here. They're planning for some kind of success. I do feel it could go in your favor. They definitely like things to go in their favor. Let me tell you, they <laughs> are very capable of that. But I see a lot of communication. I see a lot of talk back and forth. And I feel this person will gain that confidence. I think they lack the strength and confidence that you think. I think they just come in with that ego. They hide behind that ego. And it has something to do with their finances, their foundation. Tell me about this Eight of Staves communication. You know, taking that leap of faith, a little bit of Aries, a little bit of Leo energy, a little Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, my goodness, <laughs> a lot of energy. It really could be anybody. This is very much an energy read. So I feel as though there's this ref looking over your shoulder, that one, one quick look to take a leap of faith, but I feel like it's them, okay? I do. I feel this person is ready to put an end to something and they're going to come towards you. They're worried that you will, um, they're going to miss an opportunity, a chance. And I think they're headed towards you. Now, you could have a couple people here. You may have a choice between two. Some of you do. Some of you don't. It's just one person energy, the way it flows. Uh, some of you could end something with somebody who's got an ego where you don't feel like there's going to be any success or there's been some kind of false victory. You will move towards another person or somebody else will be moving towards you. They could be the one to take a leap of faith, uh, coming, taking that risk to come towards you. This I, I feel honestly, Cancer, that you're a lot more, a lot stronger, a lot more confident. And uh, but I feel like there, you may have lacked that at some point. Okay, so I feel as with this Empress energy, once you take a break and you release all this negative stuff, just leave it behind. You're very close to finding that emotional fulfillment. Okay, with that Empress energy, you definitely have somebody coming. Uh, some of you may even have two, but I, I definitely, if you have two people coming, you're definitely ignoring one person. They're not what you want. Uh, I do feel there could be someone from a long time ago. You might have just been friends. They may want more. They may be reaching out, and I don't think you're into it. Uh, it could be uh, there's something lacking. Uh, you just They're just not what you want. Maybe they have no money. Maybe you're worried they're chasing you for money, <laughs> okay? Could go that way with that person because I see this energy turning and flipping around. All right, Cancer, let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, I was just going to say the Empress, there's that wide open, okay, being open to options, but valuing yourself, loving yourself first, making sure anybody who comes towards you, they shower some of that abundance upon you, okay, because you are very generous, very loving, very nurturing, so it's telling you to just kind of hold back, don't offer this person all of yourself, don't give them all of you. Uh, in other words, don't act like the wife till you are kind of energy or there's a commitment. You know what I'm getting at. So, yeah, this is about being wide open and uh, being available. I actually feel if this person does come towards you. Now, it all depends how they communicate. I kind of feel like the person that manipulated you, like I do think you got some trust issues, that residual energy from um, a previous person as well here. Trust issues are hard to overcome, but I do feel like there's it needs to end. Uh, you need to leave that trust stuff, that baggage. You need to leave it in the past and to move forward. I see a transformation going off on this new path. Two people coming together that are compatible, that are right for each other. Now, even though this person may be a Leo, Aries, or Sag, I do feel that they probably have uh, some water or something in their chart. But regardless, I, I see this... Um, I feel like it could be have Taurus or Libra too. There's Taurus and Libra energy. Yeah, this is definitely someone having romantic thoughts. Uh, it's very much, as soon as I was talking about emotional, they have deep feelings. They keep it to themselves, kind of keep it secret. Uh, they're very deeply emotional. As soon as I said that, out it came. So there's your answer. Yeah, whatever sign they are, they could be a Sag for some of you, or they just have that energy. May and Aries. I see Aries, Leo, and Sag here, so which you will see in almost every love reading because of these um, these cards, the strength of that leap of faith, right? And of course, that going off on the new adventure, that having success. I, I feel like some of you are just ready for a new adventure too. And I feel like this person that's coming towards you is as well. And that's where I think you're compatible. You're on that same page. You're on the same path. 
so it's interesting yeah just riding the wave going with the flow look at that so i feel like things are uh, looking up here just go with the flow and i feel like it's going to be fine somebody here values you okay they do value do see your worth someone's got some very deep feelings yeah see there's this that's the sacred pool someone's going within looking at their feelings and their emotions this is that person they keep their emotions to themselves they, they have to find that confidence and strength to come in and take control of this situation before you go off towards another person but these trust issues get in the way and i do feel if this is all one person they definitely may have came towards you acting like um, I, they may have just felt like they weren't good enough. Maybe they had invertedly made you feel that way. I don't know. But there's definitely some miscommunications uh, and things like that here with you and this person. And it has to do because of trust issues. You know, when you have trust issues, you get very knotted up. Um, when you meet someone and there's things you don't know or you get confused or you get started getting really emotional, you have to really watch that energy. That's why it's always good to take a break before you rush out and offer that cup of love to someone. And I feel like some of you are definitely ready. Uh, I think you're open and available to new love. Somebody wants to know if you're open, if you're available, if you're single. Yeah, this is setting yourself free, releasing all those trust issues, okay? I feel like you're going to rise above this, definitely. This is that, I love this card so much. There's nothing better than freedom. When you find love, that's when you, you're free. You feel the freest, okay? You need to release something here, probably. I think it's trust issues. Uh, and if it isn't you, it's this person. But I think both of you do. I'm seeing this card twice here. So yeah, see, it's because you're leaping into the unknown. It's a little bit scary. There's some things that you need to figure out. Take the time to figure this person out. All right, pull back here and there. Think about it if you're on the right path with them. But I feel this is definitely somebody who is ready to invest in a commitment. Now, you certainly won't invest in them unless they do. I think this person kind of gets that energy. As they get to know you, they will realize that especially if there's somebody uh, fairly new or somebody that you don't know well. But I definitely feel there's an energy of somebody coming back around or somebody taking another look, a second, um, you know, a second come around with you, maybe even a couple of times. So I just feel like I need to add one more card. Tell me about this Empress. Why is this here? Yeah, solitude. Yeah, coming out of solitude, being open. It's telling you to come out of solitude, uh, to get yourself out there, to be open to love. This is a bit of a Virgo energy. That's interesting. So I feel there's that. You know, spending some time alone, clearing uh, your head. I feel like it's time to come out of this solitude, to open up and to get yourself out there. It could be somebody who's soul searching, looking for answers, looking for clues. Yeah, there's those peaks of joy. That's not riding the wave, okay? There's those ups and downs. Uh, but it's it's telling you to think positive, all right? I feel like you got someone who's soul searching. They're having these peaks of joy. I wonder now if this person is starting to feel more positive, gain that strength to come towards you. They want to talk. They want to communicate. They're either coming in to make peace or they're coming in uh, with that king of wands, very determined and not willing to give up, knowing exactly what they want. They want to take either more time to get to know you or they're just coming in to make peace, okay? Take it as it resonates, but it looks much more positive. Just love yourself first, Cancer. I feel like that's the best way with this person. It makes you much more romantically attractive, yeah. There is a need for some kind of encouragement, whether it's you or them, okay? That little bit of a nudge. <laughs> Yeah, this person's having, this person, I, I feel like that for some reason this person's gaining that confidence to come in. I think they're coming in pretty soon, Cancer. Something is encouraging them, or maybe you're giving them a bit of encouragement, or maybe they need some. It could be somebody else doing it too. They could have someone else encouraging them to just go for it, okay, to take that risk, that leap of faith. And if you really love this person and there's been some kind of conflict or something uh, to do with trust issues between the two of you, I don't know, maybe you're ready to uh, just hear what this person has to say at least is what I feel. Okay, so take care. Bye for now.